To travel now though, New Zealanders are known as adventurers and explorers. Many of us take regular long haul flights. So our travel journalist Debbie Griffiths is back with some travel accessories to make those journeys so much easier. Morning Debbie. Good morning. So what are we talking, how long is long? Well, two of the longest flights in the world originate in New Zealand. So we're talking Auckland to Doha, Auckland to Dubai. So the Doha one, 17 hours. And a new record holding flight has just been announced starting in October, Singapore Airlines will do Singapore to Newark Airport in the US and that'll be just under 19 hours. Now they do say that they're going to improve the lighting and the air quality in the plane to, yeah, I hope so. yeah, just to <laughs> save on the jet lag but I actually have a better solution right here. Oh, you do. So this is the first of your travel accessories. Yeah, so this is the Humidifier, okay. So it's invented by a guy who's a New Zealander. He's now based in Australia. He spent 11 years as a flight attendant for Air New Zealand. And a trick of the trade was that they got really dry in the dry cabin air. Yeah. So they used to breathe through wet flannels, um, get steam and hail steam if they could. He thought there must be a better solution, so he came up with Humidifier. Okay. Wow, that looks um, pretty interesting. Are you going to give me a demo on how it actually works? <laughs> well, as you can see, it is a mask. So jet lag is caused by the, uh, the time zone change all of a sudden, but also that dry air. And not only jet lag, it also dries out your nostrils, makes yeah. them quite sore, gives you a sore throat. It can lead to a chest infection at the very worst. So what that means is your body's not getting enough moisture. So, enter the humidifier, because what it does is you put it on when you're breathing, it, when you breathe out, it collects all the moisture so that when you breathe in, you're getting that moisture in your breath. It's simple recycling. It means the air that you breathe is moist, which prevents dehydration, which that can lead to jet lag and that can lead to infection. So, that's what it does. Pretty okay. good, eh? Okay. It's, um interesting looking. Yes. Is, it, is it popular? Are people using them? It is really popular actually. Our All Blacks use the Humidifier when they go away on long journeys. Oh. Um, also the actress uh, Phoebe Tonkin is the Australian actress and she's Instagrammed herself wearing one. Uh, the Irish rugby team uses them and the Fiji Sevens team uses them as well. So very popular. I know it looks a bit funny, not your favourite fashion accessory but apparently it really does work. Hey, if it stops the jet lag then I am all for it. Yeah. Okay, moving on. Tell me about the world's smallest washing machine. Ta-da! Uh, is that what you were expecting? No, that's not what I was <laughs> expecting at all. This is another Australian company. Now it's called the Scrubber Bag. And uh, what you do is it's for your small, so your t-shirts and your underwear, things like that. So what you do is you put some water in, your detergent in. I've done that already, burp out the right. air. And the good thing is you can see it's got a washboard on the back of it. So this is the rinsing, what he's doing there. So when you want to rinse it, you put more water in and then fold the bag over, shake it all around, and that's what rinses the cycle. And it's like a machine quality wash because you've got the scrubbing board on the inside of oh, it. Oh wow. Yeah so it is really clever, really well designed and the good thing is no electricity of course, a little bit of water, multifunctional, it is actually doubles as a dry bag when you need it We've too. got those in the boat, the dry bags. That is Perfect. such a fantastic thing though for yeah. going away in the boat. I'm going to get some of those. Okay so we've got time for one more accessory and it must be the backpack that yes. you're sitting there. Yes. So when I've looked at bags to travel with in the past I've looked for size but yeah. of course you get to the front of the customs queue and you're like, where is it, where is it, where is it? Yeah. So the designers of this wanted something that was compact but that had a lot of space on the inside. So they spent a few years designing this and this is what they came up with. So I want to show you the back of it first because it has a really great luggage strap and also an anti-theft pocket in the back here so that's where you want to keep your valuables. Now also talking about the back of it there's all that foam on the back and the straps are designed to actually spread the weight so it doesn't feel as heavy as it is. Right. Also got to mention the wee sunglasses clip there, very handy dandy. It's been very well thought out. Very well thought out. So I'm going to open it up because first of all I want to show you the USB port. You can charge your device. That that's a game changer. Okay. Absolutely. So when I open it up, it opens to a really easy 45 degree angle. See all the padded inserts inside for keeping your laptop safe. That's a 15 and a half inch laptop. All of the pockets. My power bank is in there. And I love that it's water resistant as well. So a really great backpack. This is from Modernist Look and it's called the Smart Pro and it looks fantastic I as well. I love that. I absolutely yeah. love that. That's I've got to get me one of those. So where can I get all of these things? So how do we get them? Have a look online. They're all available online. So the scrub bag and the humidifier are Australian companies and this modernist look is an, Austra is a, an American company. They arrive really quickly and easily when I sent away for them so look online for those. I love them all. Such great advice. Thank you Debbie. Thanks Mel. And we'll see you next week too.